Behind the glitz and glamour of the music industry and being a musician lies a world of secrets that musicians rarely talk about. From substance abuse to exploitation, these six dirty little secrets I'm about to share with you in this video will give you a glimpse into the dark side of the music industry. Hey, and welcome to Music Space. Here we help working musicians like you to make money from their craft. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on new videos. Now, right before we get into this video, if you're a band artist or musician looking to make some serious passive income and grow a huge fan base, I'm advising all bands and artists and musicians like this to start a YouTube channel today. And that's because right now, YouTube continues to be the biggest growth opportunity for bands, artists, and musicians to gain a huge following and make lots of money. And because of this, I've created the YouTube Quick Start course. This course is specifically designed to get you up and running and making money and growing a huge fan base on YouTube really quickly and easily. And the best part is it's completely free and you can get instant access to it at the link in the description of this video. So the first secret that musicians don't like talking about is the fact that we all just crave attention. And this is something that you will see from a lot of musicians if you look for it. I know a lot of us don't like to admit it and we don't like to think of ourselves as like, oh, we just want our attention. But the fact of the matter is we do. And it's not necessarily because we're like vain and just want vain attention or something like that. I mean, I'm sure that's the case for some musicians, but a lot of us really put a lot of effort and time and energy into learning our craft and honing what we do so that we can present it in a way that's special to you. A lot of non-musicians don't even know the time and energy that it takes to just like learn a particular song on an instrument or something like that. And the thing about that is, again, we put so much time into it. We want your attention. We want your, you know, your eyes on it, your ears on it. And we want you to tell us that we're doing good. Now, we don't always go about doing that in the best of ways, but the fact of the matter is we just want the attention. And that leads right into the next secret that not a lot of us musicians like to talk about. And that's the fact that we don't know we're good unless you tell us. Now granted, there are a lot of us musicians and artists out there who are very self-motivated and you know we get by on our own energy. But again, the fact of the matter is there's a good number of us that really depend on you and your feedback to help us know where we stand in sort of this hierarchy of musicianship and how good we are and how great we are. And that's why you see that a lot of the things that we do as musicians and artists are like showboaty and you know the way we dress and the way we look the way we play you know the way we bounce around on stage or something like that is so that we could get that attention that i was just talking about and that's why people should really be careful about some of the things that they say about you know musicians and artists we tend to be a little sensitive in that area now the next secret is a big one and that's the fact that we all feel undervalued and underappreciated and when i say that i mean in terms of what we do as musicians and artists and bands you know a lot of us are making the same thing at gigs that you know musicians and artists were making at gigs 30 40 50 years ago one of the most popular videos on this channel today is a video about why i think musicians should stop doing gigs for a hundred dollars and one of the reasons that that video is popular is because it's a pain point for a lot of us musicians and if a musician is in a place where there's a crowded market say somewhere like nashville or something like that where there's musicians that come a dime a dozen Oh, they take advantage of that really well. And not only those types of venues, but this undervalued, underappreciated thing also goes for a lot of musicians who play at churches and houses of worship and places like that. Again, another one of the more popular videos here on the channel is a video about why church musicians should be paid. A lot of musicians in these different types of venues feel undervalued and underappreciated. And that leads right into the next secret, and that is that we all have been taken advantage of. And there's not a single musician that I know that I have come across that doesn't have a story about being taken advantage of as a musician in some respect. From something like having a janky promoter, you know, promise them some money that they reneged on and they didn't show up to get paid for, 
to that whole thing of like, you know, after the gig, the the club owner is like, hey, let me run to the ATM right quick and get your money. And then you never see him again to other venues and festivals and churches and things like that. Just handing people a check with something that they didn't agree to to other egregious stuff like bands showing up where they were promised to be, you know, a feature band at and they get there and then there's another band on stage playing in their spot and they tell this band, hey, we made a mistake. You guys can go home. It's absolutely crazy just the amount of ways that we've been used and taken advantage of. Now, another secret that a lot of musicians don't like talking about is the fact that we compare ourselves to others a lot. So you remember I mentioned earlier about us wanting to know where we stand in this sort of hierarchy of, you know, good and bad and where we are on that spectrum as musicians and artists and bands. Well, we not only assess that from your feedback, but we also do it by internally comparing ourselves to other musicians who we think are better than us or who are worse than us. But the bad part about this is for musicians is we tend to assess that and then we make that determination about ourselves, you know, good or bad. You know, we get the big head and think we're all that because we're better than these few people or, you know, vice versa. We think we're the, just like the worst musicians ever or we're trash because we are not at the level of such and such band or such and such music. And again, it's kind of sad because a lot of us let that sort of paradigm and that sort of ruler or assessment define us and define who we are. And that kind of determines our trajectory. And all of these sort of behind the scenes secrets that musicians don't like to share that I've talked about so far sort of leads to this one big one. And that is the fact that we all just really want our lives to mean something. And, you know, on the surface, this doesn't seem anything that's like outside of like normal human behavior. Like most of us as humans, we want our lives to mean something. But the way this differs for us as musicians is because, again, we found this art. We found this craft that we're good at, that we've spent so much time in and poured our lives into and poured our time and energy and resources into, you know, even to the point where a lot of us have done things like neglected family and all of this kind of stuff. And when I say we all want our lives to mean something, what I'm talking about is, you know, specifically our music. We want to be able to put something out or play something or, you know, perform something that is meaningful to other people in a sort of, you know, significant way. I can tell you from experience, there's no feeling greater than when someone comes up to me and says, hey, you played at my wedding and it was so beautiful I cried and it changed my life or you know you played at my you know my sister's or my mom's or granddad's funeral and the piece that you played was so beautiful and it made me remember this and I will never forget it and it really touched my life. These are the types of things that bring meaning to what we do and it's something that we all want as musicians, artists, and bands. And I talked a bit earlier about how we musicians compare ourselves to others and that's because it's such an important topic and I've done a video about that and it's a really important video and you should go here and check out that video right now.